Hey guys, what's up? You're Bob Ultron, back at another video. In today's video, we are going to be taking a look at the final section of the Battle Pass. Finally, finally, finally. We are taking a look at the Doom Forged War Machine, Doom Forged Demo Frost, Gwenpool, Captain Jones, and Shuri, which is, as I said, the final style for this whole Battle Pass. Meaning, when we take a look at these, we are done, dusted, and we can move on to next season, which starts in about a day and a bit. So. If you guys like this, hit the like button, share, comment, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you guys know when I go live and when I upload all that good stuff. And yeah, without further ado, let's go into creative mode and take a look at skins. Let's go. So, to start off this review process for this video, we have Gwenpool along with her back bling and her pickaxe for this preset. Which the pickaxe is specifically from one of the old uh, crew pack like legacy things, you can see the swoosh effect and everything there. Um, I did use a different colour of this, I think in episode 1, but it didn't look very good, and the orange actually matches well enough. The sort of tealy green cyan colour does not work in the slightest, but it is what it is. Um, the back bling is this guitar, which once again does not work very well, but it is what it is. But, as we're all here to actually see, the skin herself, Gwenpool, of course, She's got her glowing eyes, as all of them will have. Her hair now has like that orange hue over it, instead of the green that it had last time, and the blue it would have had. Before. No, blue last time, green before. And the outfit is black, you know, black under suit with the flame. Then her thigh, like her legs for the most part, are in that sort of black to uh, orange pulse effect. Which does not look half bad in the slightest. Her shoes are also kind of there as well. Then she's got her knife, which actually does look like it matches the pulsing. And around the back of the outfit, you can kind of see how it looks as well. So yeah, overall not too bad. And you can see how the pickaxe swings, which is a really nice swing animation of anything else. Though she does look a bit pissed off when she swings out. So... Yeah, that's it for Gwenpool. Let's go take a look at the next skin, which will be War Machine. Let's go. So, here we have War Machine for his final setup for, of these videos, which he does obviously match the whole flame aesthetic the same way that Gwenpool has. Um, as you can kind of see, the, the thighs and the middle, like, sort of reactor core are the main two points of changing colours, like from the orange to the black, as it usually is, same with the back. Um, the actual suit itself on skin is actually a, a more actual black than like a dark grey this time with the, the the flame details, which actually looks really really nice. This is, I think this is like my favourite out of the three styles of super styles, though it's still very much overkill, kind of wish you could like turn the effects off, because, you know, it's it just a bit overkill, but overall it looks very nice. Um, you can see for the back bling, we gave him this one, I believe, from the Machinist back in last season. And then this pickaxe is just from the Magma set at one point or another, which you can see the swoosh effect in that is a very flamey one. The molten sort of lava design my can matches, but the extra pickaxe itself doesn't really fit the colour scheme, unfortunately. So. Yeah, overall though, not actually a half bad skin. One of my more preferred ones. Um, it is what it is. I don't know, War Machine has like a soft spot in my heart for this battle pass due to it being kind of obviously a chunkier version of Iron Man, and in a good way, because Iron Man suits in this game are a bit too, like, small and doesn't have much going on. So, yeah. Let's go take a look at the next character, which I do believe is Emma Frost. Then we'll take a look at Jones, and then we'll take a look at Jerry to finish up the video. Let's go. So, here we have Emma Frost in all of her glory, which she is back to having, you know, actual skin instead of her absolute, like, purification diamond style thing that we took a look at last time, which is nice to see, since she actually looks human again instead of just a, you know, part of Minecraft. Which, you can see her outfit obviously is glowing red with the glowing hair and everything. Got the flashy, flamey uh, left eye as the rest of them has. 
which for the preset here, we have Captain Car Captain Marvel's pickaxe, which whenever you swing it, it charges up. And it's got this nice big trail on it, which actually I like the look of. Then we have this back bling, which I want to say is from the Wu-Tang stuff. I could be very, very wrong on that, so I'm just going to say it is and hope for the best. Though, I don't actually know if it is. The orange kind of works, but the purpley colour around the edge obviously does not. But overall, the skin is very nice. Once again, probably my least favourite skin in the whole Battle Pass, but it is what it is. You can kind of see her boots down at the bottom there are actually in her diamond style still. Just because that's obviously who she is. You can kind of see it on the sides of her coat there as well. Kind of has like, like refraction refraction to the pattern to it. Along with her shoulder pads as well. It's very interesting looking. So, yeah. Um, again, not a bad skin. It is what it is. I don't really have an opinion. Well, um, if I did have an opinion really, it'd be that I do not like the skin very much. Just she's not one of those characters for me. So yeah, let's go take a look at Jones and then Sherry and wrap up this video. Let's go. So, here we have Captain Jones in all of his glory, which, honestly, one of the better looking styles for these skins. Um, obviously the hair is done black, with the orangey yellow sort of flame hue going over it. Got the eye glowing like everybody else. Got the armor glowing, which the giant star and stripes on his torso and arms is very nicely, you know, Het up in the orange, which looks great. Um, the torso, like the under torso and the legs are obviously uh, got that flamey, like constant flame thing going on, along with the arms, which doesn't look half bad. Not even down to the boots, it's the same. <laughs> Excuse me. Um, for the pickaxe, we have this one from a free uh, magma set at one point which the switch effect is the actual head of the pickaxe because it's actually neon lights which is pretty cool and then the back bling is these little kunais which are also just done in black with the magma sort of design on them which i actually think is pretty well fitting for this all things considered at the very least so yeah again there's more of the swishing effects and whatnot um pretty cool nonetheless just, I have kind of run out of things to say about these skins, unfortunately, due to doing two videos prior. Obviously, over the past few weeks of, well, what they look like, unfortunately. So, yeah. Let's go take a look at uh, Shuri and finish up this video, and in turn finish up the season. Let's go. So, last but not least, we have Shuri. Which, unfortunately, if you hear in the background, there are fireworks going off, unfortunately. So, I do apologize, but I need to finish, get this recording finished. So, here I have Sherry in all of her glory, which, once again, she's not in her Black Panther armor, but she has a transformation even before that, which we'll take a look at in a second. But, as always, she has the nice, like, uh, colouring around her armor, along with her gauntlets, to, like, make it pop more. This time it's like an orangey yellow, last time it was white, and the first time I think it was like a gray, blind green. Which, this just looks absolutely amazing, I love the look of this. Like with, even down to her like shoes, it's got the nice like, detailing and whatnot. Uh, for the pickaxe, you can see it's Doctor Strange's sword thing from his Battle Pass skin. From a good while ago. You see how that looks. And then we have the back bling here, which is from Crew Pack, which I kind of was thinking of the pink, like, lightning, sort of holding, or electricity, that whenever uh, Sherry does this and whatnot, that it would actually kind of stick together whenever, if she had, like, the, the effects and everything on her skin normally, which I'm sure would work. But you can see the Black Panther skin itself with, you know, Everything's sort of suited and booted. It overall looks very, very nice. And I cannot complain. Um, overall, this battle pass was not a bad one. Um, I might do a tier list, actually, as we kind of go into the next season. Because it's apparently another reloaded season. But we'll see. Um, but, yeah. Either way, this is going to be it for this video. If you like it, hit like, button, share, comment, and subscribe. 
hit the notification bell so you guys know when to go live and when I upload all that good stuff. And yeah, once again, thanks for watching. I do hope you guys have genuinely enjoyed throughout this season, and hopefully on to the next, with being so very close to 500 subscribers. Hopefully we'll have a be able to hit that margin before Christmas and you never know where we'll end up so yeah thanks for watching happy Halloween no Halloween has just passed actually so it's Christmas time we need to we'll get to that eventually but we'll see how it goes adios for now